actor Ezra Miller recently released a statement about some of the things that we've heard about the actor over the course of the last two years. So let's get into that and my thoughts on what I make of this whole thing. Okay, so this is going to be very simple. I'm going to have the statement up on the screen the entire time. So this statement is in regards to the whole case that was pending in Massachusetts, the restraining orders, uh, the court dates, everything like that. That also connects to Vermont, the kidnapping thing, and so much more that's all kind of intertwined with this one thing. The point of it is, though, Ezra can finally talk about this, so they issued a statement. And uh, what we have here is more or less... Um, Ezra, if you just read this, takes the route of, but they've done wrong things. So it's good that this is out here because they manipulate others and are destructive. And I was just sort of there. And everybody online and the tabloids, everybody was just exaggerating what I was doing and how I was involved in all that. Now, I understand this is as PR as PR gets, and trust me, I've seen people talk about it. I took a couple of days to talk about this. I really didn't know what to say. I was hoping that maybe there would be something more, but there isn't. And Ezra further goes on, and as you notice in like the fourth paragraph down, talks about media sp spreading fake rumors, claims, and all this and all that. It, you know, it just keeps going. And while I get what Ezra's trying to do here, the fact of the matter is, it's the same thing that everybody has said when talking about this, including the big trades reporting on it. You're talking about this one thing. Fine. Let's remove this one thing out of the equation. There's still at least a dozen more with evidence that we know of, that we've seen, that's there, including like footage, right? Like, uh, like. This whole scenario is just a complete mess. And by trying to clear your name by saying, but, 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 they lie and have a problem. Well, yeah, from what we understand, the problem was that there was uh, substance abuse and stuff. And you were at the center of it by supplying it to somebody that also managed to endanger people around them. Like, you know, their children. Like, that's bad. That's bad. No way you put this does it look any like better then the whole situation, it just kind of confirms that some of these things did in fact happen, but you're out here saying, but, 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 but they also might have done bad things. It's like, okay, that's like capturing the guy breaking into the store and then capturing the getaway driver and being like, oh yeah, but the getaway driver didn't actually break in. They were just the getaway driver. So technically they're not guilty. It's like, no, they're still guilty. They were there. They're part of the crime. Like, Ezra, you were still involved with this whole thing. There's literally tons of court documents and info that was made very public that we know, that we saw. It, uh, I mean, it's also not strange that this comes after the flash is out and also it manages to bomb completely. I think the whole story's here. Just people aren't looking at what's actually happening. It's, uh, I just want this whole Ezra thing to end just... My God.